Hi there, and welcome to Cinema Nerds, the podcast. My name is Mike Turkus, and I am the editor-in-chief of CinemaNerds.com, your destination for everything movies. At Cinema Nerds, we have coverage of movie news, trailers, reviews, as well as the occasional interview. Every week on this podcast, we will be offering our views on the latest film releases, such as our topic today. Based on the television show of the same name that ran for five seasons from 1981 to 1986 and starred Lee Majors and Heather Thomas, director David Leach's new film, The Fall Guy, employs the same combination of action and sexual tension that fueled the show, albeit not necessarily between the two main characters. This approach makes for an entertaining and somewhat nostalgic aura around the film that, if approached a different way, could have resulted in another disappointing cinematic adaptation of a popular television property. Colt Seavers, played by Ryan Gosling, is a stuntman at the top of his game. He is performing death-defying stunts alongside his wannabe director girlfriend, Jody, who's played by Emily Blunt, until one stunt goes awry and a severely injured Colt all but retires from the profession. That is, until his services are requested on the film that his now ex-girlfriend Jody is making her directorial debut with. The prospect of making peace with her entices him to take up the mantle of stuntman again. When he gets on set, however, he quickly learns that there is more to his emerging from retirement than simply performing a few stunts as the, st as the star of Jody's film, played by Aaron Taylor Johnson, has disappeared and the film's producer, Gail Mayer, played by Hannah Wanningham, enlists Colt to track him down and bring him back to set. Of course, this is easier said than done, and Colt soon finds himself embroiled in a conspiracy that could derail not only his reconciliation with Jody, but her career as well. In three, two, one, action. Good, good, good. Shout to the heart, and you're too late, darling. You give love a bad name. Anyone but him. I didn't approve him. You know that. You are literally the last person on earth I want to see. It's slap the shit out of you. I really could. And I'm open to that in a safer environment. Like he has done with films like Bullet Train in 2022 and Deadpool 2 in 2018, director David Leach shows off his ability to deliver action sequences that invigorate a rather tepid plot, as in the case of Bullet Train, and also showcase a well-written story centered around a likable character played by a charismatic actor, i.e. Deadpool 2. Working from a script by Drew Pierce, whom he collaborated last with making 2019's Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw, Leach embraces the entertainment value of the original property without resorting to a camp approach as have many other television adaptations. What emerges is an action adventure piece with a legitimate mystery for the hero to solve while simultaneously trying to get his life back on track. As Colt, Gosling does a fine job of blending the character's natural suave demeanor with the uncertainty he is facing during this crossroads moment of his life path. Likewise, Blunt is equally capable as the talented filmmaker who is unsure exactly why her former flame has shown up on her set after so much time away. Taylor Johnson embraces the bombastic nature of his character as a spoiled star too used to getting his own way. Nods to the original television show, courtesy of David Schwinman's production design, including Colt's iconic truck, prove a welcome and non-distracting homage to the series. Along with Leach's use of movement to capture the action sequences, the editing provided by Elizabeth Ronald Dotsier allows the film's action sequences to move along at a brisk and well-paced speed. In a ghost. No phone call, no text. It's not like I didn't want to apologize. You don't have to explain anything. It was just a flame. So how have you been? God, I hate that 
Thumbs up, stunt guy, stop. I'm the director. We're gonna set this man on fire. You're a stunt guy. We need to keep it super profesh. Profesh is my middle name. You said your middle name was Danger. How do we do, boss? <laughs> really? Yeah. Holster that. Yeah, it's holstered. It's done. Forget. You, you never saw it. Tom Ryder, <laughs> the biggest action star on the planet, is missing. You need to bring him back. Or Jodie's movie is dead. Why me? You're a stuntman. Nobody's gonna notice you. That's your job. No offense. I mean, some taken. You find Ryder, save Jodie's film. You get the love of your life back. I'm not the hero, I'm just the double. Not today, you're not. Tom, we only need you back on set, pal. The nostalgic and not ironic adaptation of the television series, The Fall Guy, allows the film to stand on its own apart from its namesake property. Although there is a cameo at the end of the credits featuring original stars of the series, and exist as its own successful action adventure film. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to visit us on Facebook and Twitter and at our website at cinemanerds.com.